Hello, this is um, a tutorial to explain how to use the reshape uh, command. Let's open um, a file. This file is in wide format. Let's look at how the wide format looks like. So this is here an individual and you see that uh, he's a male, his date of birth, and you have here a number of events that are recorded. Here, enumeration, out migration, and OBE. Some individuals have more complex records, like for example, this one has enumeration and out migration, but then an in migration, and then again an out migration until in migration, and again OBE. You will notice that many records are actually have missing values and that not all individuals have the same number of events. Maximum number of events can go up to 17 in this data file. Because there are a lot of missing values and also because the wide format is not so easy to handle, we want to reshape this data file into what we call a long format. To do that, we have to use the reshape command. If you uh, type reshape in the help menu, you will get a help menu uh, for this command. The syntax is to go from long to wide, you would use this command, but here we are more interested in the other syntax, which is to reshaping to long format. So let's copy this syntax here. And what we need to get here is the stub of the variables that are repeated as many times as they are events. And these right variables are actually event date and event code. The I here means actually the variables that are defining the individual, that is the individual ID. Here in our case, this is simply a variable called ID. The J here means the rank of the events. Here we don't have a variable telling us the rank of the event, except that each variable, event date, and even code have a suffix which is 1, 1, here, 2, 3, 4, 5, up to 70. This is actually what we mean here by the rank of the event. So let's give it a name and I'll call it simply rank. When we run this command, you see that uh, Stata indicates that the rank of the event can go from 1 to 17. It takes some while before getting the final file in long format. And here we are. Now let's look at how this long format data looks like. You see that for each individual, the records were repeated 17 times, but not all records have actually an even date and even code that is non-missing. There are many missing values. And we don't actually need these records with missing values because they have no use for any analysis. So what we'll do here will be to drop these observations, that is when event code is missing. We could have used event date is missing. This is equivalent because when one is missing, the other is as well. So it deleted quite a number of useless observations. Let's look back at the file looks like. And you can see now that the first individual has only three observations the second as well, but some individuals may have more observations, like this one. This individual has up to six observations. If we want to reshape back into the wide format, we just need to take the same command, but to replace long with wide, and that's it. Now you can see that the file is backed into wide format. Notice that uh, the sex and DOB variables are put at the end of the uh, list of variables 
if you prefer to have them back at the beginning you just need to order variables in the order thank you for listening